it's Melanie and today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope pillowcase cover. Um, so it has an opening. So basically you make the cover and then you put in a pillow form like this. You can get one of these at a craft store like Joann's Fabrics, Fabric Store, Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart will have it. Anything that has like a craft section. It's a pretty common thing to find. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's a super easy beginner project, only a few stitches that you have to do. The video is going to show you everything that you need to do. Perfect, perfect beginner project. Materials wise, you're going to want some fabric. I suggest um, like a home decor weight fabric. 100% cotton will be okay, um, but you want to have something that has a little bit more um, weight to it, kind of like a home decorating fabric. They have that at Joann's. And then You'll need, you know, a sewing machine and a coordinating thread and your pillow form. And then check the description box below, okay, because I'm going to have all the measurements and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do because my pillow form was 14 by 14, but if you have a different size, I'll tell you how to adjust your measurements to allow for your seam allowance and have it all work out perfectly. If you like this fabric too, I'll have that linked below. This is a great um, fabric, really. You know, the chevron is super in right now, so this is a really nice fabric. It's that, um, it's like a twill, so it's a nice weight. And yeah, let's get started making this pillow. Okay guys, so what you need to do is cut out some of your fabric. Check the description box below and I will have everything written out for the exact measurements that you need. This is my pillow form. It's a 14 by 14. Um, the package will tell you exactly how large it is. Um, and so my pieces are cut to 15. So my one large piece that I'm showing you right here is 15 by 15. So I'm adding one inch all the way around to allow for my seam allowance. Then I have these other two pieces, which will be for the back pieces, and that will be what we need to use for the envelope enclosure. Next thing you wanna do is take those pieces over to your ironing board and get them nice and ironed flat. Use a hot steamy iron and some water and get those creases out, get it nice and um, ironed out all those pieces. While you're at the ironing board, take those two smaller pieces and you're going to fold over one on the long side, you're going to fold over one quarter of an inch all the way down and iron it down really, really good. Um, it's not essential to be exactly a quarter of an inch, just kind of eyeball it and do your best. So you're going to fold it over one time and then you're going to fold it over one additional time and iron it down really, really good. And that's what we are going to stitch and get that nice enclosed seam so that you don't have any raw edges. Sometimes this fabric can be a little bit stubborn so you're going to have to really get a nice hot iron and encourage your fabric to stay down nice and flat. So take that piece that you just ironed down. You're going to have ironed down both those back pieces. So take one of them over to your sewing machine and stitch it down really close to that folded edge. You can see where I'm doing it. Um, and do a straight stitch all the way down. Now you can leave it like that or what I'm doing is I'm adding another stitch just to give it a nice finished and professional look. Um, so just use your foot and kind of just make a guesstimate on how far, you know, about an eighth of an inch apart and sew that all the way down. So once you're done stitching those two back pieces, take them over to your table where you have your large square piece facing right side up. And then you're going to take those pieces and place them right side facing down. Line it up along the edges, make sure everything is nice and straight and smooth. So place your first one down and then you're going to place your other one right here like I'm showing you. Get them nice and straight, lined up. Um, if you need to iron it again, then what you want to do is pin all the way around. So I pinned all the way around my envelope enclosure and now you're ready to take it over to the sewing machine. Over at your sewing machine, you are going to stitch a one half inch seam allowance all the way around. There should be markings on your sewing machine to show you where the half inch mark is and you're gonna just get started. Back stitch a little bit 
Start anywhere you like and you're going to stitch all the way down, removing the pins as you go. When you get down here to your corners, I like to kind of reinforce my corners a little bit. So I just back stitch like I'm showing you right here, just to give it a little extra security. Keep your needle down and pivot your fabric. Make sure you have another half inch there. Make any adjustments. Back such a little to reinforce that corner and then continue down at your half inch seam allowance. Now when I get to the opening, I'm going to back stitch just a bit so that I give my envelope enclosure just a little extra stabilization right here like I'm doing. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I like to do. So go ahead and continue stitching all the way around at one half inch. One thing I want to mention really quick that I did not do but would be a good thing to do is once you do your straight stitch all the way around is to then do a zigzag stitch right next to it in that seam just so that when you do wash it you can limit some of the fraying that will happen in that seam. So if you think you will be washing it, uh, go ahead and do that. Then you are going to want to clip all your corners. So use some nice fabric scissors and cut right to that edge where that seam is and um, get those corners ready to turn them out. Clipping those corners will just make the point nice and sharp. Okay, now turn your pillow cover inside out or right side out actually, and you are pretty much done. Um, take it over to your ironing board and kind of roll your seam in between your fingers just to get it nice and straight. Iron it down so that it looks much more professional. Your seam doesn't look sloppy or, um, or loose. Kind of gives it that nice straight edge. And then you're done. You can put your pillow form in your pillow cover and you are ready to go. Literally, this project could take you as little as 20 to 30 minutes tops. Um, it's just such a great project and I hope you guys have a ton of fun doing it. Okay guys, I hope you had fun making your envelope um, pillowcase cover. The great thing about this is you can take it off and you can wash it when you have little kids like I do who have sticky hands and boogers and all that stuff. So um, this is a really great way to kind of keep it all clean. Please let me know if you have any questions, comment below. I would really love to be able to help you guys out and give you some pointers if you're running in any trouble. If there's anything that's not clear, anything that I left out, um, please let me know. If you like watching these kind of videos, um, please thumbs them up, share them with your friends, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate the support. Um, please comment below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!